Welcome back to my messy bathroom. It is extremely gross today, at least for my standards. There is a lot of neglect going on here. I've got a lot of mess, a lot of things I haven't put back in its home. And so I'm going to take you with me on this 10 minute video that took me about an hour to clean. <laughs> this is by far the biggest bathroom that I have ever lived in and had. And so it does take quite a quite a while to get it all exactly how I want it. Um, there's a lot of buildup from the well water and you'll see now the calcium deposits on my shower. It is something that I, I hate it. It's a daily thing and no matter what, even if I squeegee it or I microfiber dry it, honestly I'm a little lazy and I forget and I don't get to it. So it builds up pretty quickly and I do clean this weekly but as you can see this is literally a week's worth of neglect of not even wiping it down. So I'm going to start off with just cleaning up the counters and putting everything back in its home. Everything that was taken out, if it was in the jewelry box, going back into the jewelry box, everything just back home. And that'll help me kind of declutter the whole space and move along with what I need to do today. The sinks were really gross. I'm gonna spray it down with a citric acid cleaner. It had a lot of like perfume, aftershave stuff, toothpaste, you know, the typical things that you find on your sink. And these counters for being white, I mean, they hide a lot of dirt. Look at that. It was quite filthy. I don't get it. It's been just a week and I'm looking at my bathroom like what in the world happened here? So um, normally my kids use my bathroom as well. And I think that like adds on to the grime because even though they have their own bathroom now, they still love to come. The girls like to do their makeup in my bathroom and the boys like to shave their beard and their hair and it's just a mess all the time if you see that pink right there by the drain hole that was my daughters they were giving my dog a manicure <laughs> and yeah the nail polish just got stuck on the um on the porcelain so i'm just gonna let the citric acid um, sit on it for a little bit which i did as i wiped down the counters um and so yeah now i'm gonna just scrub away I do love a citric acid based cleaner. This one is from Melaleuca and I've had it forever. It's a tub cleaner actually, but it works pretty much anywhere. I could have used the um, all purpose or vinegar, but I felt like these calcium deposits had to come off. And so um, citric acid is really good for getting mineral buildup out of your bathroom walls, glass and metals and all of that. I don't even know how this privacy screen ended up here it, it's been like a dump place like we were just dumping stuff in my bathroom lately and so it's a little overwhelming with all the clutter I can't deal and I wanted to take a bath today and so I can't take a bath <laughs> I can't focus and relax if my bathroom looks like trash I had these beautiful picture frames there but my little one was taking a bath one day and splashed a little too much got my picture frames wet and so I'm gonna have to find a new home for it and even though this bathtub was quite clean it was really dusty from not being used for a couple weeks so I, to I normally try to take a bath at least once a, a week but I haven't been in the bath ever since I went on vacation as well and when I came back I just haven't had time so I'm taking out dust and cleaning it the shower you could just see can't really see it here but the calcium was just literally melting away and with every cleaner you do have to let things sit you know um, I am gonna use some dish soap as well on the walls and all over the bathroom really that's what I my kind of go to in the bathroom because when we shower, we let go of a lot of oils in our body and dish soap is excellent in getting grease and oil off. So I did do the citric acid all over the place, citric acid cleaner all over the place. And then we're gonna wipe it all out with the dish soap. As you can see here, it's great. Like 
everything kind of melted off and it's nice and shiny. I'm not going to dry this because I am going to take a shower after recording this video. Well, I'm going to take a bath and then I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to clean up. Everybody's kind of just left their stuff everywhere. Wednesdays are normally the days when my husband takes the kids to church and I stay behind. It's normally like my day to catch up on housework or I work for a GI. I catch up on work as well. I do that from home and it's kind of like my R&R because I can get a lot of stuff done in the two and a half hours that they're gone and take a bath and enjoy my time. So normally I don't have interruptions on Wednesdays. It's nice. This is like deep cleaning, so I am going to clean the floorboards, and my camera did cut me off several times, but I cleaned all of the floorboards in the entire bathroom. I'm going to refill my toilet paper. This thing holds like 12 rolls of toilet paper or something like that, and it does have a lid, which broke. It was a really cute bamboo lid. I got it on Amazon, and I'm just going to refill it because, like I said, my kids love to use my bathroom even though they have their own bathroom. So we always need like extra toilet paper stacked up. I'm just restocking my things. I bought some cotton rounds today. I'm gonna put these babies to wash and take out some new hand towels and just declutter the space so that I can get ready to deep clean the floors as well. Now this Otoban stuff is normally for my laundry. It smells so good. It's also like a pet solution so it neutralizes like pet urine and stuff like that which thankfully our dogs are well trained but this stuff smells so good and so I'm gonna just put a little bit goes a long way because it's pretty concentrated so I am gonna steam my floors with the Odo band today it just gives like the whole house such a nice smell you could spray it on your sheets you could spray it on um, your towels your linens you could I put it on the softener compartment in my washer and the clothes come out smelling so stinking good. It's also a disinfectant, so not only am I cleaning with the steam, but I'm also sanitizing and disinfecting at the same time, just because bathrooms are gross. You know, you flush the toilet with the lid open, travels up to like eight feet, I think it is. It's kind of gross. <laughs> and I am steaming really slowly. This is kind of how I do it, and I, this is actually sped up, and then I speed it up even more later, but I tend to vacuum extremely slow, and then I go into opposite directions. So as you saw, I went with the way of the wood, and now I'm gonna go against it. And it just does a really good job with cleaning and getting all of the grime. And honestly, with vacuuming, the slower you go, the better, the more stuff you're gonna pick up. So that's what I'm gonna do. The only one thing I do not like about this vacuum is that I have to clean it every single time. So even though it does have a self-clean mode, as you can see here, I had to clean the compartment out. Like I had to clean out the dirty water compartment, I had to clean out the brush, I had to clean out the entire actual vacuum and then self-clean it so that it actually comes out clean because a lot of stuff gets stuck in between the little crevices. So I've made my little plant haven over here by my bathtub and everything came out pretty spotless and clean. I am ready now for my bubble bath and some very much needed mom time. And yes, I have this tiny stool. I haven't ordered a new stool yet for the toilet. So we use that little stool. I think I got it like five below for like five bucks. And everything came out so clean. Uh, my camera stopped when I was doing my glass and a couple things, but you get the picture. I just put everything back, make sure that everything's wiped down and cleaned. No more calcium deposit, as you can see now. 
this stuff works like magic. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.